Hi, and thanks for joining us. I'm Johnny Freeborn, your host of Central Valley Talk Real Estate. And if you'd like to be on the show, we have an email down below. It's bookings at uh, centralvalleytalk.com. And make sure and get a hold of us. We'd love to have you on. Up first, we have from Buchanan High School robotics team. Uh, introduce yourselves, guys. Hi, I'm Sarah Cook. I'm the director of outreach for the Buchanan robotics team. And I am Gary Giannoni. I am the chief communications officer of the Buchanan High School robotics team. Okay, and a little bit about what you guys do in the in the team. So I'm on the public relations side of our robotics team. Uh -huh. So I'm involved with getting reaching out into our community and showing first the program that we're under and STEM into our community. Okay. And I am the leader of the public relations side of the team. We have roughly around 60 to 70 members on our team. Wow. And I'm in charge of like around 10 to 15 of them, making sure that we have money and funds that go into our team, uh, making sure that we're making it loud, making sure we go to events, uh, go to interviews like these to uh, get the word out about robotics. Great. And uh, let's explore kind of the stuff that you guys do, the, the bells and whistles, the fun that you guys have. Definitely. So uh, essentially the uh, organization we're under is FIRST Robotics, which is, stands for, for Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. Mm -hmm. It was founded around 1989 by Dean Kamen, one of the co-creators co of the Segway. Um, and he realized that um, during that time that there weren't a lot of uh, teenagers interested in science and technology. They were more interested in sports or uh, pop culture. And he really wanted to change that culture where you can be a nerd and still have fun, you know? <laughs> right. So, uh, so that's what he did. He basically made this program where every year we have a new game or a new challenge to compete with uh, robots and robot robotics teams all around the world. With. And it's not only high school, it's also middle school and elementary school kids and uh, kindergarten. They all have different branches of the FIRST program that they can go under and they'd all eventually come up to FIRST Robotics competition, which is the high wow. school level of FIRST Robotics. That sounds like a lot of fun. What's been your favorite thing that you've uh, learned in the program? Um, my favorite thing that I've learned in this program is honestly public speaking. I was very nerdy and very, very scared of talking to people. <laughs> so when I joined robotics, I, they saw that, our former CEO saw that, and she had me publicly speak in front of a lot of people until I got used to it, and I can't thank her enough for doing that for Good me. for you. Well, here you are breaking mm -hmm. your, what used to be fear, I hope, yeah. um, and you're doing great, by the way. Uh, probably the best thing I've learned from this program is um, gaining self-confidence, especially if you're going into the business world or anything in that kind of field. Mm -hmm. uh, two weeks ago, I actually teamed up with a bunch of people around CUSD, and we formed an event. event it was basically a wedding. Uh, we tried to fundraise money for a robotics team in CUSD. Uh, we raised around $5,000, so that was pretty, it was pretty uh, uh -huh. exciting. And being able to be a part of that and help organize something like that was really fruitful for me. Awesome. Very cool. We have uh, a lot to talk about with you guys. Um, first, what is robotics? So we're under FIRST, which is for Inspiration and Recognition of Science oh, and see. Technology. But the branch that we're under is FIRST Robotics Competition. So uh. we build life-size robots every year in a period called build season. So in around January, we are given a um, like a say, new like challenge or game. Okay. Yeah, and we have six weeks to build a robot that will work efficiently mm -hmm. in that game, and we compete after those six weeks with that robot. So okay. our most recent game was called First Stronghold, and we actually have a video of the robot that we built for that in action. So. Okay, let's air it.
So as you see here, as you see here is our uh, 2016 robot. Uh, we call it Doc 12, uh, since it's our 12th year as a team, uh, and as well as after Doc Buchanan. Uh, as you see here, the robot intakes the ball with a T-bone intake, and it goes all the way up into a flywheel shooter, and it lines it up perfectly with vision tracking, and it shoots the ball for us, so it was pretty cool. It's actually one of our most technologically advanced robot out of the 12 years we've been a team since it uses the vision tracking, which is something that our programmers worked the entire six weeks on to get it ready for competition season. Yes, and the competitions we go to are all around the state, in Madera, in Sacramento. There's also competitions in Silicon Valley, Los Angeles, uh, cities all around. It looks like you guys are having a lot of fun. Definitely. Yeah, a lot of you're hard learning work. business and they're they're mm -hmm. incorporating a lot of uh, industry. Yeah, uh, with a robotics team like ours, a very seasoned robotics team, we spend a lot of money on just our robots and travel fees. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, last year we spent around a hundred thousand wow. dollars, and that was with two robots and three competitions because mm -hmm. we traveled for the last five years to first robotics. World Championships, okay. and we actually won World Championships in 2015 with three other robots. So uh, a big misconception, uh, since we're a season team and we're a World Championship team, we do spend a lot of money. We spend, as Sarah said, around $100,000, but most robotics teams probably spend a fraction of that amount. We just want to be right, right up there with those pe with uh, the robotics teams that are sponsored by companies like NASA, mm -hmm. so, uh, things like that. Uh, and it's it's and it's a very competitive uh, aspect what robotics is because there's it's all over the world. There's robotics teams in Russia, China, Brazil, um, hundreds all over the U.S. Wow, it's pretty. It's a very engrossing program and very worthwhile doing. I would imagine that's mm -hmm. the way of the future. We need more robots. Yeah. And I'm still waiting for a robot to make me coffee every morning. <laughs> you know, so yeah. aren't we all? <laughs> Uh, we also really want, uh, with robotics, to change the culture of it hmm. because uh, there's a big misconception about robotics and it's just uh, you're building like little dainty little robots when really, you're, as you saw, you're, you, we build really life-size robots that compete on a very competitive level. Uh, we've recently uh, uh, started this program called Project Curie. It's called the Clovis Unified Robotics Initiative for Engineering. It's a bit of a mouthful. Yeah. Uh, Essentially what it's trying to do is change the culture of robotics in the Central Valley uh -huh. so that the Central Valley can become the next hub of technology and innovation like the Silicon Valley. Great. Yeah. Uh, what we're, I guess what we're trying to do, uh, especially is trying to wear, we're raise awareness with Project Curie and with robotics, uh, and hopefully by the time when the election is over, we have enough support, enough recognition, enough backing in the community to uh, talk to the school board of CUSD um, and say, hey, we want to be treated like a varsity sport, not just a, a simple after-school club. Absolutely. Yeah, it's definitely... Yeah. It's definitely. You guys uh, are making strides towards that, then. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we ha the event that I mentioned earlier. We uh, tried to raise money for it for Project Curie. Uh, it went really well. We had uh, uh, children and teachers, uh, faculty all over C uh, Clovis Unified to come to the event. It was pretty cool. Now you'd mentioned uh, when I was talking to you earlier. Mm -hmm. Uh, about homeschool students that yes. might want to get involved in something like this. So How can the, they get involved? So there are multiple homeschool teams around our area, mm -hmm. and a lot of them work out of places like IdeaWorks, which is a manufacturing area that uh, has a lot of people that want to start a tech, like um, something in technology, mm -hmm. and they don't really have anywhere to work. So a lot of homeschool teams will work over at IdeaWorks, and they get a lot of mentors from that, since there are a lot of people already working there. Okay. So all they need is just a group of students that are really like technology and they can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely. Uh, it's definitely a program where anyone can really join in. You don't have to necessarily be um, that tech savvy or that engineering mind focused. You can mm -hmm. be like what Sarah and I do and just. Uh, work on public relations. So it's really um, a very immersive program that anyone can really uh, get their hands involved with. 
yeah, a lot people can glean from and uh, learn the industry and. Yeah, a number of ways. Definitely, mm -hmm. especially as high schoolers. Uh, as high schoolers, as, as a high school student, I would never have imagined having to uh, be in charge of over a hundred thousand dollars as a as a eighteen year old. That's mm -hmm. a, it was a lot of it's a lot of pressure, but it's one of those things where it's you. Uh, robotics is something that really gives you real life experience for the real world. That's something for your career or for the job or for college going forth. Great. Thank you guys so much for coming on the show and sharing. Um, anything else you'd like to share before we go? Uh, you can uh, reach Buchanan High School, uh, Buchanan High School robotics team uh, at first FRC sixteen seventy one on Twitter or on our website team sixteen seventy one dot com. Uh, if you want to learn more about the program, if you want to say, if you want to go around, go to firstinspires.org. Uh, and see if there's any local robotics team in your area that you might want to sponsor or help uh, get going. Fantastic. Thanks so much, guys. Buchanan High School Robotics Team. Thank you for All having right. us. Thank you for having Thanks. us. Majors is your local real estate connection with a solid hardworking team traditional listings short sales probate listings and foreclosures are treated in a personal and caring way and closed in a timely fashion since 2009 team majors has closed more than 75 million dollars worth of homes all over California reliable and trustworthy Christy and her team will go the extra mile for every client whether selling or buying a home so give team majors a call at 559-464-5606 or visit teammajors.com Sal Contreras of JC's Lawn Service is the go-to guy for all your lawn care and landscaping needs just call Sal at 559-978-7730 the fifth quarter, a restaurant and sports bar in Visalia. 24 of your favorite beers on tap and a full bar. Entertainment for all. Pool tables, karaoke, a DJ, and even a drag show. Watch the game with us and get some great food. Burgers, sushi, and much more. Don't wait for overtime. Head into the fifth quarter for a great time today. Need a dentist? Call Dr. David Wright at 559-222-6213 or visit BiteMeDental.com. CentralValleyTalk.com